As we mentioned in the last video, it takes some time for a reaction to establish equilibrium. When you mix two reactant molecules together, a bunch of product isn't instantaneously formed. It takes a while for enough collisions to occur to reach equilibrium. But if we know a particular reaction's equilibrium constant at a given temperature, and we know the amounts of reactants that we start with, we can actually calculate the concentrations of products, and remaining reactants for that matter, once equilibrium is established. The method we use to do this is called an ice table, and it looks like this. We start with a balanced chemical equation. Let's use the reaction of two molecules of gaseous nitrogen monoxide to produce a molecule of nitrogen and a molecule of oxygen. This reaction has an equilibrium constant of 2.4 times 10 to the 3 at 2000 degrees Celsius. Below the balanced reaction, we create a row for the initial concentrations of the reactants and products, then a row for the change in concentration that we'll see as we reach equilibrium, and finally a row for the final concentrations at equilibrium, hence the ICE or ice table. To see how this works, let's imagine that we start with 0 0.0200 molar pure nitrogen monoxide, and no N2 or O2 have formed yet. As we approach equilibrium, we know that the concentrations of N2 and O2 will increase, and they'll increase by the same amount since they have the same stoichiometric coefficients but we don't know this value a priori, so we'll call it x. While N2 and O2 are forming, we know that the concentration of NO must be decreasing, and at twice the rate that the products are forming, because there's a stoichiometric coefficient of 2 on the reactant. This row illustrates how the concentrations of all species will change as we approach equilibrium. So at equilibrium, in the bottom row, we just add up the initial and change rows. Now, here's the fun part. Since we know the equilibrium constant for this reaction, 2.4 times 10 to the 3, and we know that that number must equal the equilibrium concentration of N2 times the equilibrium concentration of O2 over the equilibrium concentration of NO squared, we can plug in our values from the bottom row of our table. With a little algebra, we can solve for x, which in this particular problem equals 0 0.099. We've solved for the equilibrium concentrations of both N2 and O2, and we can easily plug x into 0 0.200 minus 2x to determine the equilibrium concentration of the NO starting material. Sometimes the use of ice tables involves some algebra that's a little trickier than this specific example. You may run into, for instance, quadratic equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and you should be able to solve these, these equations by using the quadratic formula. Though the quadratic formula produces two solutions, only one solution will ever make physical sense. That's obviously the one to use. I promise that I won't make you solve anything more difficult than that. 